Most everyone you talk to loves lighthouses. And why is that? It's hope on the horizon. It's that beacon that leads you through the storm. It's lovers watching it at night. It, there, it means so many things to so many different people. For photographer Dave Zapatka, lighthouses are a flashback to his childhood by the shore. I grew up listening to the sound of the Watch Hill Lighthouse in southern Rhode Island as a kid. And on foggy nights in the summertime with the window open, I'd hear that growing up. I guess that sort of instilled this uh, innate love of lighthouses. Dave left Rhode Island and traveled the globe as a network TV cameraman, but every so often, he focused his attention skyward. Oh, well, we got stars, that's a good thing. When digital cameras came along, he made an incredible discovery. With the right equipment and lighting, he could capture his subjects at night, beaming in a sea of stars. In history, we don't have pictures of lighthouses working at night. They don't exist because film couldn't do this. I think you have to love something to shoot as beautifully as you shoot. Because I don't think you can look at something like that if you don't feel it. Oh, I agree with that. And it's burning inside me. If you look up at a lighthouse and there are the lights streaming out from there, it almost looks like godlike because you've got the light, you've got the shadow from the structure of the lighthouse, and it's helicoptering. And you, you go, wow, that's beautiful. It's breathtaking. One picture followed another, and in his free time, Dave has spent the last nine years documenting hundreds of lighthouses. Yeah, it's still way too early. Though his subjects remain steadfast. So these are the slick ones. Ah. Reaching them can be treacherous. Nope, that's slick. From crashing waves to slick rock scrambles. Yeah, I'm just stuck in a rock. To remote destinations. A little bit further out, then we get the reflection. But that perfect shot delivers a lifetime of perspective. So when you look up and it's the perfect moment, you see a million stars. Tell me what you see and feel in that moment. I'll just lay down and look up, and the Milky Way is right above you. You see the entire sky. I am this big. I'm, the, I'm smaller than that because it is so vast, and most people can't see that. You have to get out where it's really, really dark to fully appreciate how vast the universe is and how infinitely small we are. It's so funny, kind of at the, at the end of your news career, you really found what rings your bell. There's a beauty in that that, I, that is more fulfilling to me because in TV, I shoot a story, it goes on the air, it's gone. Poof. Poof, gone. So now I have something tangible to hang on the wall that I never had in 30 years, 40 years of television. Portraits of our nation's seaside guardians, once a permanent fixture, but these beacons are slowly fading away. Now with climate change and with storms that are stronger, lighthouses are starting to be more imperiled. And then the Coast Guard with the new technology, GPS especially, right. they no longer need it. For me, it's trying to capture these before they disappear. Because remember, one time there were 1,600 lighthouses in the country. There's only a, a roughly around 800 left that are still operating. What do you hope your grandkids remember you for in, in, in this light? Oh, look at Grandpa did. He left us with something for the world to have. One man leaving the light on for generations to come. That's special. Mm, pretty amazing, That's right? Special. If you want to see all of them, he's compiled this really cool book. It's called uh, USA Stars and Lights Portraits from the Dark. Proceeds go to fund his photo project in the United States Lighthouse Society, which is a nonprofit dedicating to saving the legacy of those. We've got more info on today.com, but I think it's really cool. And I want to thank, by the way, the Fire Island National Seashore. They allowed us to shoot uh -huh. by their lighthouse. And he's, he's on the road. He's, he's going to shoot them all. Did you tell me that there's no filter? Nothing. There's no trick. 
tricks and bells and whistles. No, no editing. You know what? It There's just, nothing. That's the shot he captures. He saves the moment. He sometimes uses like a television light, but on super, super dim, and he opens up an iris and he does some hocus pocus, and he literally hits the button, and he's like, "I got it." Well, just it looks, that. It looks like an oil painting. Yes, it does. And but you that's can the feel the yeah. emotion when he's talking oh, yeah, about it. Oh, yeah, yeah. So passionate about it. Yeah. yeah. Thank yeah. you. That was that. Really story. cool. Okay. Right. Well, that was really cool. <laughs> you know, we got to get a big old print of that and hang it up. It's I so know. beautiful. Yes. They're really I love that. that. It's artwork. Mm -hmm. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.